Hey Tony here. Today I'm going to go over all of the titles that I picked up during the month of June, so stick around. So today I'm going to go over all of the titles that I picked up during the month of June. There were quite a few titles released. I want to do this by release week. So first up we have Love Lies Bleeding. This right here was a A24 exclusive and I picked up the 4K release. I saw this one in the theater, enjoyed it, and so very happy to have that one in the collection. Um, from Umbrella, I picked up You'll Never Find Me. I've heard some really good things about this one. This right here was the one that was a numbered edition, 54 out of 300. So very happy that I got the one with the slip box. Also from Umbrella, also from Umbrella I got Masters of the Universe. The hard box with this artwork it is another one that is a numbered edition. I got 11, 11 out of 3,000. Um, it's a, I haven't seen this movie in so long. I definitely need to check it out again. Uh, also from Umbrella, I got Primer. Seemed like an interesting film. Never seen it. I got number 898 out of 1,500. Also from Umbrella, I picked up Trash Humpers. Don't even know what that's about. Sounds kind of weird. Um, it is another one that's a hard box with a number, 326 out of 1,000. And then lastly, from Umbrella, I picked up this film here, Upstream Color. And it's a hard box with number 353 out of 1,000. So I picked those up. I've been trying to get the hard boxes, the exclusives that they do, um, just because I've missed out before, didn't feel too good about it. So I, if I'm able to afford it, I go ahead and get those. So we had a big chunk the first week of June for Kino Lorber. I got The Hour Before Dawn, The Chase, Bad Lieutenant. I've seen this film before, very happy to have it on 4K. Death Machine, The Perfect Weapon, Pursued, and also Saigon. So those are all from Kino Lorber. And then I picked up this one. I watched the trailer. It seemed to be a pretty interesting film. So I added this one to the collection. La Shamira. I, I don't know how you pronounce that, but that sounds about right. I also picked up Founder's Day. Didn't hear many good things about this one, but I definitely wanted to have it in the collection. At least check it out. I picked up the 4K Steelbook release for Rango. I watched this. I really enjoyed it. It was a first time watch. Great film. Very happy to have this one in the collection. I also picked up the Steelbook for Glory on 4K. Another great film. Glad to have that Steelbook. And then lastly, for the first week, I picked up Postal. Um, not very familiar with this one. I'm trying to remember why I got this one. It's a numbered spine. That's probably why I got it. But I think somebody actually recommended this one to me. So I picked it up. So those are all of the titles for the first week. Okay, during the second week, I picked up this Ultraman series. This is the, number, the, the third one in this series that I didn't have in the collection. So I just got this one from Amazon. It was around $13, but I wanted to keep getting these. I picked up Dogman. Someone had recommended I check this one out. So I'll, I'll check that out. I picked up Blood and Snow. Not very familiar with this one, but I picked it up. I got the still book for the last Kumite. Last Kumati. Last Kumite. I don't remember how to pronounce it. Last time I said it when I did the unwrapping, people corrected me on it. I still can't say it right, so I do apologize. I picked up Stop Motion. I heard some good things about this one. I picked up um, Superman and Lois, the complete third season. I do um, continue to buy the TV series. I watched season one and half of season two. I haven't seen season three yet, so I need to check that one out. So from Eureka, I got The Valiant Ones, the 4K release. Then we had the 4K release for Shrek Forever After with a slip. Immaculate. I was able to see this one in the theater. It really enjoyed it, so very happy to have that one in the collection. Um, Godzilla X Kong: The New Empire, the Blu-ray release with the slip. I also got the 4K release with the slip. 
and this beautiful looking still book. And then we also got a still book for La Femme Nikita on 4K. So I'm going to be checking this one out hopefully this month. So I'm looking forward to checking that one out. And then we got another new 101 film release for the Lawnmower Man collection. And this is spine number 36. So enjoy, I do enjoy continuing this line for 101 films. Okay, during the third week, I got All of Us Strangers. Um, someone had recommended that I check this one out. So I got this one. I had pre-ordered it back in, um, May, I think, around May 5th. And then after I purchased this, of course, they announced the Criterion Collection release coming out in September. But I did watch this film. Really enjoyed it. It's got a really weird vibe about it. Um, really nice twist. Um, definitely check it out. If you've never seen this one, I would highly recommend you check it out. Then we got a lot of second sight releases. So I got... The Haunted Asylum. I can't pronounce the first word, but I saw this one, um, which I have in the collection with the slipcover. Really enjoyed it, so I was very happy to get this one from Second Sight. I also pick up, picked up The Sacrament. Have never seen that one before. Um, I got Brooklyn 45. This right here is the first of the um, releases from Vinegar Syndrome Partner Label for um shutter so i got that happy to have that one i had to get it off of ebay because i missed out on it from their website but i didn't have to pay too too much for it hope i don't think i paid too much for it but don't quote me on that okay next up from eureka i got prison walls um this right here is abashari abashiri prison one through three so i love the prison movies i love the eureka releases so i picked that one up for the G-Kids line, I got Mars Express with a slip. I got this 4K release again for the Karate Kid with this slip cover, VHS slip cover. Doesn't really look much different than the other slip cover that we got, but I have a sickness and I got it anyways. Okay, I got American Fiction on Blu-ray with a slip. Heard some good things about that. I got the RoboCop reboot. 4K release. I enjoyed this film for what it is. It's a fun watch. Really nice looking slipcover, so I picked it up. I got the RoboCop 2 4K release. I also got Chinatown from the Paramount Presents line 4K release. From Arrow, I got the Arrow Store exclusive for the Amer for American Gigolo and also just the regular release for American Gigolo. So those are all the titles that I got during the third week. Okay, for the final week of June, I got some Kino Lorber titles. Well, it's kind of mixed up, so I'll just show you these. This right here is one of the Kino Cult line, number seven, which I've been collecting all of these. I got Teaserama. Teaserama. I'm not really sure I'm not sure what I'm going to do about the um, Kino Cult line. They're, they're films that I probably wouldn't care for. So I'm still trying to decide what I'm going to do about that. But this is the Betty Page um, collection, maybe? I don't know very much about it. Anyway, I picked this one up with a slip. I got The New Adventures of Batman, the complete collection on Blu-ray. I got Homework. This right here is a Unearthed Films release with a slip. I got The Boys in the Boat, which my wife wants to check that one out with me. So hopefully she'll get to watch that with me soon. We, did, we missed it in the theater. Then from Walmart, I was able to get Twister and Mars Attacks. Um, I didn't have Mars Attacks in the collection. I do have Twister with a different slip. But these are the two slip covers that I needed for the line of the Warner Brothers Icon edition, so I'm glad I have those. I got Slam Dunk for the G-Kids line. I got Team America 4K release. I also ordered the South Park release. It still hasn't showed up yet, so I'm not sure what the holdup is. But I was ready to get this video done, so I'm sorry I wasn't able to show the South Park release. Okay, I got Monkey Man 4K release. Definitely looking forward to checking this one out. I saw this one in the theater. They had the volume down way too low. I couldn't really hear what was going on. 
So with my system, I'll be able to listen to it very loudly, actually hear the dialogue. I did enjoy it for what I saw, but I couldn't really hear the film, which was, you know, aggravating. Um, for Shout Select, I got the 4K release for Matinee. Love the slipcover on this one. Then I got the 4K release for um, for Purple Rain. Had never seen Purple Rain before, so I'll check it out. Then the big release for the final week of the month was Ghostbusters Frozen Empire. I got the 4K release with a slip. I got the Walmart Steelbook release. I got the regular 4K Steelbook release. And then another release for the week was the Ministry of Ungentlemanly Warfare. I got the 4K with a slip. I did get to see this one in the theater. I could hear it. It was excellent. I thought it was a fun movie. Not too many people talked about this one, but I really enjoyed it. So if you have the opportunity, definitely check it out. I thought it was a lot of fun. And then I got the Amazon exclusive 4K steelbook for the Ministry of Ungenerally Warfare. Happy to have that. Then I actually bought a DVD this week because they had the History of Evil and they only did a DVD release for it. This is another Shudder film. Um, I heard some mixed things about it, but I do want to check it out. I watched the trailer for it. It looked interesting. Um, so those are all of the pickups that I did during the month of June. So please leave me a comment below. Let me know what you think about my pickups and also let me know what you were able to pick up. And also maybe remind me of some titles that maybe I missed out during the month of June. Um, June was kind of a tough month financially. Um, I wasn't able to just get everything. Um, but I'm happy for what I did get. Please leave me a comment below. Let me know what you think about my pickups. And like I said, let me know what you were able to pick up. And thank you again for watching this video. We'll see you next time.